Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but let's flop. Who said flopping is a bad idea? It's quite fun, I would say. That's right, flopping is a great idea. What is flopping? This. That. That's it. I don't know why Patrick is on there, but you know what? I don't really mind. So we got ourselves Lush Truck. The idea behind Lush Truck is mostly, uh, it's kind of hard to you know, fight traditionally in this, because everybody's always, like, being tossed around like this. So, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna just get ourselves an Agonims and then activate Ultimate and just kind of, like, pull Snowball people. And, you know, Edict is good. We'll probably never gonna be able to hit a Split Earth, but who cares? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the idea. We'll see how it goes. I wanted to kind of like talk about something else. So as I'm currently currently working on my uh, on the Kickstarter for Chroma, right? That's kind of the thing that I'm taking on over the next few weeks as my primary task. And uh, I just want to make sure that everything's you know nice and ahead of schedule and everything is ready and I know exactly what I'm doing. Now, I've been doing my research, and something I've noticed is that most of the like and by most I really I mean pretty much all of the really like big successful video game kickstarters they don't really spend any time talking about the game <laughs> like okay not any wouldn't be true they just spend the majority of their time in the actual written part of the kickstarter talking about the rewards that's the big thing and that kind of has me thinking, well, since the rewards are obviously very important, and that makes sense, right? People want to want to get something for for their money. I'm not saying that's unreasonable. I think that's very reasonable. But it has me thinking, well, what can I offer in, rewar in rewards? And it kind of like puts me into a tricky situation because, well, you know, I don't really, I, I can't really offer the game. Right, so I, let me actually like first specify what I mean when I'm talking about rewards. Right, on Kickstarter you can put money in, and then well because you're like kind of like an early person joining into the the investing stage, it's not really an investment, but whatever. Right. Um, well, you usually get something um, that's a bit more exclusive in return. And what exactly uh, varies a bit from project to project. Now, that's kind of where the tricky part comes in. What can we do there? Now, what I see a lot is stuff like, hey, here's uh, like a statue of the main character. Here's an art book that we're going to print to deliver to your house. All right? Like, come hang out in the game development studio with the lead programmer, because apparently that's interesting. <laughs> Damn it. Kind of got us right there. Hey, you go back. And... And to be honest, like, I don't really want to offer those kind of things. Because, like, for example, if we were to make an art book, that's taking a lot of time away from my artists. And they are really busy as is. Right? Like, frankly speaking, they just don't have time for that. Alright? And, like, it's not as easy as hiring more artists. We are very much reaching the capacity of what my art director can't handle right now. Right? Like, they, you can't just infinitely keep hiring people. It doesn't work that way. Um... Oh yeah, my my I am now desynced, by the way. Right? At first everybody is the same, but as people die, you know, like it starts desyncing. And uh, But yeah, there's just like only so many people we can actually hire. Or for example, I can't really give people a copy of the game because well, the game is meant to be free. <laughs> like What does that mean? Like, I mean, that doesn't really help. Um so, or what I also don't really want to do is like, I, you know, like, could be like, okay, well, let's do like a statue of the main character, even though none of that really applies, right? But like, just hypothetically, like, the reason why I wouldn't really want to do something like that is because like, now I'm really feature creeping, you know, like, I don't, 
I'm quite busy making a game, you know. I, I don't really want to spend any time figuring out how to handle the print and production of, like, you know, like, a statue like that. Like, there's a few things that I, I already know how to do and have done before, and, like, I'm pretty confident that wouldn't that, that they wouldn't be a problem. Like, for example, um... For example, I, I would have no problem... Oops. I would have no problem with, like, doing a t-shirt or, like, a hoodie or something like that. That's fine. Not an issue at all. Right? But, like, really going much further than that is not really ideal. So I've, I've been, like, kind of, like, thinking about, like, okay, what, what can we actually offer, right? Because hey, I, they gotta be something. Because, again, I, I keep just, like, that's kind of, like, my big realization is that these these kind of rewards are actually super important. Like, crazy important. And, um... It was a bit easier with disasters, because with disasters I would just offer the game. So something that I was thinking, you know, it's like, for example, I saw... You know, like, I, I, I can make some... We can definitely make a little bit of custom artwork. Also, that came out of nowhere. Like... You know, like, you get, like, fancy artwork. Sure. That's something that's definitely doable. Um, something else might be, for example... Um, we currently have... Kind of like the dev art. Right? <laughs> Which is, you know... Beautiful. <laughs> I already saw some people express interest in... You know, having some of it. Like, that's something we could offer. Or the big thing um, was maybe like a more like kind of um, having sort of permanent better access, right? Because what we're gonna do here's kind of like my planned schedule. Is we're gonna do like what we have right now, which is like a very closed alpha, right? Ah, um, oh damn! Kind of unfortunate timing right there. And then once the Kickstarter comes around, we're gonna move to like a demo state where you know you can just download the game and try it and see if you like it. And uh, then after that, I was actually planning to just shut it down, right? Like that's it. Like now the game is offline until we get closer to release and we do like a beta again. And maybe like a reward would be to just kind of say all right you just have access to the game now right from now until release like you don't need to worry about this kind of like like this development rhythm that i have in mind here because you just have access to the game forever but i don't know because like i feel like in part people could look at that and be like <laughs> So this 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 guy wants us to pay to beta test, and I'm like, uh, well, kind of, but that's not really the, you know, it's not really what I'm going for. Yes. So I don't know, right? Like I I would appreciate some input. Like if anybody has any ideas for what, you know, what 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 we could do, kind of like knowing my restrictions, right? Um kind of has something that maybe you would like, something that would be attractive to you. You know, like, there's uh, like, uh, again, something we might be able to do, or we definitely can do, is like, maybe like a unique card back for, um, but, like, just kind of like in-game cosmetics. That's not really a problem. That's very much doable. Right, but I just don't know if that's enough. So, it's something that I'm still very much looking into, right? Like, I'm still doing my research on this. But it's just been on my head though, today. And that's kind of like the big realization I reached today. And it's, it's, it's a little frustrating to me. Because it's it's just kind of... It's a little depressing just how little attention a lot of these super successful Kickstarter projects actually pay to advertising their game. Right? Or like showing what their game is about. That's just not important. It seems. 
And it feels like something that should be important. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we're kind of like... Alright, jump. Oh, we gotta go. Woo! Thanks for that. I think we'll get the mana. Alright. I'm gonna go and weasel our way out of there. Back into the mid. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should get a Bloodstone before I get the Aghanims, actually. Because I don't want to have to go to ba uh, go back to base too much. Oh, but Bloodstone doesn't give health regen anymore. Huh. What do you build for health regen? I could just maybe get a hood. Like, honestly, that actually seems pretty reasonable. Because there's a lot of magic damage on this side. <clears throat> to me, in-game things are better than real-world stuff. Yeah, like, what... Like, so... Again, this is just kind of what I noticed, is that it's, like, a lot of, like, real-world offerings, like, where people send you shit. Now, I have to admit, me personally, this is just my opinion, right? And I don't even, like, I'm not even sure if I want to say it. I, I, I will. <laughs> but, like, I'm not sure if it's a good idea, because I feel like it will kind of just color your opinion if I give you mine. But, like, my opinion is generally that I don't want your trash. Right? Like, if you offer to send me, like, an art book or figurine, I'm just like, ah, you know what, I would rather not not have your trash. Right? Like, because that's really what it is. It's just, it's just kind of trash. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not super keen on that. I mean, I should get Bloodstone after all. Just doesn't give any health region anymore. Okay. No! Oh, now I'm out of mana! Alright, time to go. That's stupid. I was like mid-cast for my edict. Alright. Mars bought hood. Yeah? So what? I can buy a hood too. I mean, we don't want to stack pipes, but nothing wrong with stack stacking some hoods. Like, <laughs> I want to stay alive, too. <laughs> I don't really know why my, my, my Mars would be the only one allowed to want to stay alive. <laughs> that doesn't really seem like... Uh... That doesn't really seem like an issue, if you ask me. Ah, my ATP was interrupted. I didn't check the... The dazzle TP there before. Your middle tower is under attack. So that's kind of why I like stuff like T-shirts, right? Like we would make sure that it's a nice T-shirt, like this right here. You know, like this is the, like this is a T-shirt we printed with uh, DFTBA. And I really, I love this T-shirt, dude. Like I get excited when I buy, like which is kind of like as part of like a project like this, right? Where. It just gets me, like, I, I love this t-shirt because it's, like, it's really comfy and it's got a really nice print and all of that stuff. I, I really like this t-shirt, right? And I want to, like, make, like, that's something that I, oh, let me grab this, thank you. Yeah, no, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But I was just kind of, like, wondering if anybody had any ideas. And if not even, like, if not ideas, I mean, just kind of inspiration. Would not be the worst thing. Oh no, I jumped in the wrong direction. Alright. We went in the wrong place. That's okay. Let me get a bloodstone. No. Actually, never mind, yes. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't really think I want to fight that. Hello. Okay, there's line. Oh, nice dodge. Let's go. 
Ooh. All right, glimpse. Oh! <laughs> Fucking slammed on top of me. <laughs> well, this does actually do a good chunk of damage. So it's like 20 per level. So right now, 260 for me. Yeah. All right, run, Pudis. There we go. Yeah, like what I'm leaning towards right now is just kind of like Kickstarter exclusive skins and basically saying, hey, we'll just, you know, you'll be part of the, the whole process. Which does kind of feel like just making people pay for beta testing. It's really, it's like, isn't it supposed to be the other way around? <laughs> okay. Oh my god! What the f fuck? I just took so much damage. I mean, what about a real physical card of a character of your choice? Well, so this is the kind of stuff that I mean that's incredibly difficult to do. Right? Like, now I need to um, prepare, like, the artwork for print. Which is actually not as easy as you think it is. Like, preparing artwork for print is... Kind of like an exhausting process. Then, I need to make sure that, you know, uh, we have a print manufacturer. Which, I can find that. Like, I've, I've done that before. But again, those kind of manufacturers, they kind of only work large scale. I don't know if I brought that up already. But they only really work large scale. And, um... So, since they only work large scale... Uh, I can't really come there and be like, I would like 15 cards! Like, ugh. <laughs> like, that's just not really how that works, you know? You can't go there and ask for 15 cards. <laughs> Especially, you know, like, if it's a character of your choice, now all of a sudden, you know, like, I have a hundred people wanting a hundred different characters, like... Ooh, that's just not really gonna add up. I am not doing very well. I keep kind of kind of dying, which I'm not too happy about. To be honest, it seems like only Butterfly is doing well. Which Mars seems kind of good, because, you know, you can... I'm definitely getting the 15 strength. <laughs> oh, yeah, 15 strength. That's, that's gonna be... That's gonna be some good stuff right there. Wait, can I share this to you? No, what? Well, oh, that's too bad. Well, I'm still gonna keep it. It's my bottle loot, my rude. Hey! I was taking that. My creeps. <laughs> Everything is mine. Okay, there's a guy. Alright, is it fight time? Ooh, I don't really want to just dive into the tower. Okay. Alright, there's a whole situation here. Okay. Oh, oh. Alright, we need to flop out of here. Flop to freedom! Alright. Sorry, boys. I'm out. I don't really think I can stick around, to be honest. I think I should get Octarine first. I wanna, like, reduce the cooldown on the flopping. I think reducing the cooldown on the flopping... ...is actually, like, probably one of the most powerful things I can do. Because the flopping does a lot of damage. Right? So if I can't just do that more, it's nice. Corner reduction doesn't work. Does it not? I guess you would know. Yeah, you dazzle. Uh, Alright, I guess then we just stick to our 
we stick to our current plan, we do definitely need some more mana. Okay. Personalization is a hard thing to care to, but, it was most but, but what most people look for in in-game items that are exclusive to Kickstarter would be nice. Oh yeah, that's not a problem. Like, we can do some artwork for cards that's exclusive to Kickstarter. Stuff like card bags that are exclusive to Kickstarter. Like, there's lots of stuff I can think of there. Right? Like a shit ton of stuff, frankly. Okay. We'll heal our we'll 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 heal our mana just a tad bit. Go up here. Hey Crespon! Hi Balmy. Laser engrave is really cheap and can be a good choice. But I know nothing about it. Right? Like I know you're just kind of making a suggestion. But I, I know absolutely nothing about it. And now I need to go and figure out everything about it. Oh, it's impossible to capture these. Because they take six seconds. And every six seconds we flop. <laughs> Your middle tower has fallen. <clears throat> right? And it, it may... Like, I don't want to sound as if, you know, I'm being lazy. And I'm like... A new thing? Ha! Huh, I am not going to learn it. Because new things are for readers. Like, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm just trying to say is, like... If I have to go and... You know, like, organize a whole thing I have no experience with. I don't really feel comfortable with that. Because I want to make sure that everybody, you know, like... Gets what they, what they sign up for. Ooh. Nice. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna flop my way back to base. By the way, if you guys enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I'm gonna go into the full cam mode right now because we're like in the middle of a fight and all of that stuff. Alright, coming in. Flopping time! Come back here! No! <laughs> Alright. Well, the good news is we have our, um... Bloodstone. Which, that helps a lot. I think next up I want to get that Aghanims. Aghanims is also just... I feel like gonna be quite nice. Oh, I also, by the way, uh, it seems that the stream is lagging a bit. I want to be kind of clear. Uh, it's, it's not me. It's not the stream. Well, I guess it is the stream, but it's not on my end. Alright, I have dropped zero frames. My CPU is at perfect, perfect shape. So absolutely no issues going on. Oh, you did it! I guess if you like perfectly time it, then it, then it should work. But there's uh, nothing on my end that should be causing any sort of lag. So it's Twitch. And if it's Twitch, I can't really do anything about it. You know? That's always kind of unfortunate, but that's just how it is. Alright, come in here, sell, get this. Alright, we're starting to kind of be a little tanky. Not like crazy tanky, but like, a lol. Oh, are we pushing? Damn. We're <laughs> going hard. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna see if I can get there. Oh, well. Guess that answers that question. <laughs> Oh, no. Your middle tower is under attack. No oh, shit. Nah, there goes our courier. I got my TPs, though, and we have five couriers, so it's fine. All right, we got Mars. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> uh, 
I should have probably like ran into it. Should probably have ran into them. Ah. <sighs> okay, okay. If you donate ten thousand dollars or more, you should do a cooking stream with the person. I mean, like, sure. But the problem with now those kind of things is, you know, like, now you're taking those 10,000 and you're spending, like, five grand of it not on the game. Which always feels a little awkward. I guess that's just kind of like how the Kickstarter life is, though. Man, I'm not doing well. Dude, I'm trying really hard, but, like, I don't think the truck is really working out the way I, I imagine it. Or, like, I imagined it. I was kind of hoping that the boy would just aggressively flop at them and just be awesome. I mean, the aggressively flopping is definitely happening, but the awesome part is... Oh, there we go. Never mind. I'm the best. All right, flop, flop, flop. Wait, no, you interrupted my flop. That's illegal. You can't just interrupt my flop. Boom, boom. Yeah. All right, look at that. Never mind. Never mind. Just as I was, just as why as I was complaining, I, the shark starts doing his thing. I mean, we haven't really exactly gotten a lot of kills, but to be honest, we're more about spread damage anyway. So that's fine. Oop! Oh, flop, flop. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and burn fruities. Hey. We do damage. Look at that. How much spell arm do we have right now? This gives spell arm now, right? Not a crazy amount. Oh shit. Ah, no! Flop me out of there! Actually, never mind. Flop me in there. Oh damn. Oh no, I'm getting bombarded. No! <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I tried to like do something fancy. I need. I need Octarine Core, man. Like, why? Like. <laughs> I'm just too squishy. I need a Nocturne. That's that's what that's the real issue here. I know a common thing that some game kickstarts do is putting donor names and credits of the game. That's a good idea. We 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 can definitely do that. All right. Or something that I was thinking is you know like you could kind of commission a card art. If that makes sense. Right, where basically we would talk to you. It's pretty much the same thing we did for disasters, you know. Where we would talk to you, and we would make sure that... Or something we could maybe also do, like we could design a card. That would be expensive, though. Like designing a card for the gameplay together. Ooh. Ooh. That one, I, I would... That would be very, very tricky. All right, time to flop into battle. Oh yeah, it's floppity time. Flopping time, the flopping, and floppity flop. Boom, boom. Ow, ow, ow! Get me out of there. No. All right, we have flopped to safety. No, shit. Ah, oh, crap! I'm not safe. Nobody is. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I wish it showed you how much damage you took from the flop. Cause it feels like it just kind of hurts really hard.
But yeah, like, what we definitely wouldn't do is just let somebody design a car, because that's just, that's how you end up with bad games. But, you know, like, there can be a little process of back and forth. Right? Where you give me an idea, and I come back to you with like, here, how about this? And then you're like, okay, that's perfect, Balmy. You are a genius. And then that's it. That's the entire thing, because it's just that easy with me. That's how quick it is. That actually seems like a good option, then. Considering the ease of it. <laughs> oh, man. No oh, craggy armor. I'll take some craggy armor. So be it. Oh my god, look at how much da that's five five hundred and fifty pure damage. Alright, like that's that's just what's killing things. Alright, I'm I'm coming. I'll try to get there. How about give a name for a card? Oh no. That's actually a 0% chance. Absolutely not. Because names matter. Every name tells a story. And I'm not gonna give up any of those elements for any reason. Oh crap. Oh, hello. Do you wanna fight? If it's just you, I can do this. But I'm a little doubtful that it's just you. Yeah, there's an ogre. All right, never mind. I'm out. Okay, there's a flippity flop happening in the in the mid. I'm just gonna kind of like try and flop my way over there as well. And flop time. Oh wait, we on perf like perfectly in sync. What the fuck? <laughs> How does that even happen? <laughs> That's kind of funny that me and the ogre are perfectly in sync. That actually kind of screwed me over a bit. All right, floppity flop, boom, boom. Ah, oh, damn. It hit, but I don't know if it's gonna matter. No, no, it's gonna kill him. He's dead. That's a dead boy. Oh, but they're defending. Oh, they're defending. Oh, <laughs> that, that Mars just got flopped on. Oh, man. What's also really difficult for me is stretch goals. Right? Because, like, here's the, the thing about the stretch goals. You always want the stretch goals to be structured in a way that people are incentivized to put more money in. Right? That's who stretch goals are for. Because they are pointless for getting new people. That's what the rewards are for. But they're good for getting people that have already put money in to put more money in. And that's kind of the tricky part. So what can you do there? Like what I was thinking as one was a single player campaign. And not a campaign, but a mode. A single player mode. I have something in mind. I actually think it's a pretty neat idea. The problem is that I have not designed it in any way. I just have like the most loosely structured thought that really is absolutely nothing. Oh my god, you got annihilated. Get sit down, son. All right, edict explosions. Absolutely. I create certain gamos like tourney early. It's just, we're not gonna be able to get tourney ready in time, unless, <laughs> unless is that what you're telling me? Tournament mode isn't gonna be ready in time, though. Says who? You? You say that? <laughs> Well, admittedly, that was a few months ago, so, like, I think now the workload is uh, a lot more manageable in what, like, we, uh, we're not more manageable, we are a lot more aware of what it actually is. 
Right. Back then it was a lot more estimation. Yeah, we can think about that if we could enable tournament mode. Right, and then like the lot, it actually does make sense too. You don't want to enable it too early. Flop! No! God damn it! All right, all right, all right. Just wait, just wait. Oh no! Oh no! Snapfire! She's shooting us! Get her! Oh my god! <laughs> we flopped the shit out of her. Oh my god. Edict of death. Help. Alright, I'm gonna go grab my Octarine. That's what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Now we've got some power. 20 times your level. So 520 right now. Flop. Yes. Oh, shit. Ah, no. Okay, wait. We're still in this. We are not still in this. <laughs> How much damage is that? A thousand. Huh. Felt like I had more HP than that. <sighs> Okay. So does Squarespace own Balmy? Yes, yes. Chives lives in my, in my basement, and I live in Squarespace's basement. It's quite a complicated situation. Spacements all the way up. <laughs> Over two hey, years of going strong. Do you think it would be fun to do a best of butts thing and replay some of your favorite 2019 butts? Hey, Fantix Um, that sounds cool. The problem is that pretty much all of the daughter butts of 2019 are broken and unplayable. And so as much as that sounds fun, it's not really an option. Like, it would require us to essentially remake a lot of them. And yeah, that's a bit frustrating, right? Because, like, why can't they just still work? And, uh, well, I don't really have an answer for that. Sorry. Stretch go add mod support now. No mod support for Chroma. That's not the plan. That's not in... Intended. That's not the kind of product it's supposed to be. Sorry. It's just no plans for that. And honestly, I'm not even going to be like, oh, maybe possibly in the future. Just, that's just a no. To the fight. <laughs> All right. Shoot here. Oh, my God. Perfect. That felt great. Dude, I just, like, flopped on three of those nerds like it was nobody's business and immediately got out of there. Now, admittedly, if I had, you know... Alright, I'm hasted. I'm hasted. I'm coming in. Oh, shit. Alright, we're, we're, we're... Oh, no! 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 Ah, oh, the flopping man. It just can't handle it. It's just too much damage. Like that's what's killing me every time. I just get hit by these massive ass weenus just landing in my face, and it's it's just not good. It's just not good. Cause I don't know if this game will ever end. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like I have a team is really able to push that, Bill. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh no. Well, it seems they can push off the wall. I like that big ass granny with her big ass lizard. That's that's good stuff right there. Alright, I'm coming. Into battle. Oh my god, get annihilated. No! I don't like glimpse. Stop it! Man, I just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I I am a god at pushing. Like, actually, a golden, golden god of pushing, though. Alright. Let's go. Let's see if we can get into their base. I mean, they're dead. They probably got buyback, but they're dead. No, stop glimpsing me! This is the worst. <laughs> Stop it. I hate it. All right. Edict of death. Edict of my death. Oh god. All right, I'm just going to continue edicting. All right. Floppity flop. Oh man, yeah, we, we actually hit him. Oh man, we actually still in this. Alright, edicting our way to victory. Oh no. Okay, we, we flopped away. No! Don't get flopped. Don't get flopped. No! No! Ah! They did it! They flopped on us. Did you be you don't get damaged by flop? Ah! Yeah, I kind of assumed that it would pierce, because uh, it's pure damage and all of that. Huh. Why not just reward the Kickstars with candy same kind of got for disasters? You know, like, can you even do that? Can I just be like, hey, if you go to this tier, I'll just like write a little card and send you some candy. And like, I know that's really not much, but, you know, I'm just... You know, I want to, like, maximize how much of the money we can actually use for the game. But I don't know if that's, like, legal. <laughs> right? Can I just, like, resell Haribo like that? On, like, a large scale? <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Do I become like a food distributor at that point? Do I have to like stick to health and safety regulations? You know, like there's like there's some serious questions there that I'm not sure about the answers to. Yes. All right, flop, floppity flop. I gotta discuss this whole, like, rewards thing with my team as well. You know? Like, I'm sure they have some things that they are like, eh, I would rather not do that, or I'm cool with that, or not. Alright, floppity time. Ow! Ow, oh god, this hurts so bad. Oh yeah, fuck, it limps me out of there. <laughs> All right, yes, floppity, floppity, flop. All right, trying to get in there. All right. I need to deactivate this so I actually have mana. Stop glimpsing me! <laughs> oh my god. 
Like, I just can't even get into the base because I keep getting glimpsed out of it. You just stunned me before my flop connected. What the fuck? And it interrupted my flop. And then you didn't die. That's illegal. Alright, shouldn't there be like fancy as items coming online? Like tier fours? Got a magic lamp. Uh, this thing doesn't really seem that good, to be honest. 300 health when you're below 15% HP and then a heart to spell? Like, what's the point? Don't you just die? Like, this just doesn't even really seem that good. Hmm. So, I think I'm just getting hard. Yes. Thanks, the shark. Um, I don't really like the idea of BKB that much because these fights are actually really long, and when I get, when I die, I'm usually just perma stunned, but like in a way that I wouldn't be able to really BKB out of it. You know, in the first place, or like prevented with BKB. And I just don't really think BKB would help as much as just having a lot more HP would help. Directly. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Alright, gonna go and just see if we can get into their base. They still have some heroes dead. And I still have my, like, crazy edict. So. Oh, this thing does a lot of damage. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go. Am I dead? Am I dead? Oh man! Always feels like I'm so close to surviving. So, so, so close. Well, they are actually like... Dropping low here. Yeah, Ogre's just giving up. It's not gonna be enough to get these kills though. Okay. I don't have buyback, I just spend my money. Alright team, do you have the firepower needed? Talking about firepower. That was a nice Lotus Orb. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, the flopping is just so much damage. There's like a thing of death every time. You know if level up works with edict? Uh I don't, but I wouldn't I wouldn't assume so. Like if I were to guess, I would say it doesn't. If I was a guessing man. Alright, who needs boots anyway, right? We don't need no boots. I would like level 30 though. That would be nice. Because there's actually some pretty good stuff for me at level 30. Indeed. What's that? Witless Shako. Well, Witless Shako isn't exactly useful. Here's a blade in your eye. Is it? Do I need armor? 
fuck it. We'll get the Midless Chuckle. Never actually equipped that thing, seriously. Ow! Chuckle time! Look at, my, look at how much HP I've got. Like, I'm a big boy. Oh, yeah, man. That's a big boy, Les Shrock, right there. Five and a half thousand. Oh, what the fuck are you doing here? No! Oh, wait, actually, that kind of works. Alright, we got him. Getting some kills? Oh, this is good! Yes. Only two of them alive? Dude, they're just gonna fucking flobbly flop us down, man. Alright. Time for Edict. Oh, I think we got him. Edict is doing a ton of damage. Alright, hit it. Hit it, boys! What? <laughs> Holy shit, man. That granny just melted me. Aye, we won with the Witless Shako. Look at that. Witless Shako for the win. Best Shako, man. Witless Shako, number one Shako. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. Definitely appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.